black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Get you guys all set up here right with me. <laughs> ay ay ay, your guy needs a pie. Now he doesn't necessarily need it, but his flavor detector wants it. And it's been a bit since I've had a really hot, fresh walk-in pie. So we're we're talking a walk-in. So we're pulling a portnoy, Dave Portnoy, Barstool Sports. One bite, everybody knows the rules. We're pulling a portnoy, we're pulling up, we're talking a walk-in special, $14.99, something like that we're getting it but i did not know it was raining as shit outside so maybe we'll have some asmr rain and also <laughs> if there's time and it's not ready yet yeah i brought nail clippers to clip my nails while i'm waiting because hygiene do it outside i guess i don't know here she be ripping that Pick up pie, that pull up pie, as you see it, or oh, Gino, it's 343 Gino. Do you know what it is? All right, so I am a couple minutes early. The guy in there is from like New Zealand or something, which I didn't expect, but he's cool. He's very, very nice, very energetic and friendly. Uh, I'm gonna whip this bitch around so that I'm not like eating directly in front of where everybody walks and just face the road or something else. But we're gonna whip this bitch around. By the time that's done, pie is out hot as can be and i'm not gonna lie there also just was a milf in there who picked up a pie and i was like can i come home with you and your pie but she probably isn't single because it was extra large so she's sharing that shit with somebody probably her kids okay <laughs> all right y'all got that yellow box that gino's pizza we got these garlic parm dips i like these dipping holes that hold the dip that's very legit and this is just fresh out of the oven, literally as hot as it can be. So let's have a moment of glory and then burn my fucking mouth. Hey. Hey. All right. Let's do this. I truly hope this is a mouth burner. Look at that. Got some nice slide. Thin, crispy at the back. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Light sauce. It's got some serious dingle dangle on the fold but uh light sauce it's supposed to be extra cheese this one doesn't seem that extra cheesy i've never got a thin crust from here uh, pepperoni just how it should be nice and simple pizza should be th three to five ingredients to be good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're burning We are burning. I usually get the regular crust, but I wanted to try the thin just to see what it's like. Oh. Oh. Mm. I can deal with that. That's what I wanted. Wanted to be able to just risk it all on my mouth. Mm. Their garlic parm dipping sauce is different. This garlic parm dipping sauce. Absolutely a level above. It's so good. I don't know if any of y'all watch the bar stool pizza reviews. Dave Portnoy. Pretty uh pretty good little show. I just got dipping sauce all over my leg. But he's right about like It's good, hot and fresh, but then you give it a minute and you get that perfect firm up.
to where it's structurally sound. And then you're eating, you're really eating. My favorite shit about those reviews is that he says one bite and then he eats like proceeds to eat like two pieces. I think that's the joke. <laughs> I'll say I think I like the regular crust better. Though this is still amazing. I think it a little too thin. A little bit crackery. At the back. And doesn't really have the firm that it needs. But still banging. He uh, he just flew in and did a Toronto series. You see how squirt? What was it? It's on my nose. Okay. Never had a sauce squirt like that. He did a bunch of Toronto spots. I'd been to probably like four of them. One of which I used to order religiously. It was my hangover pizza. Pizza Gigi. Or late at night when you're finished partying because they're open till four. But they got caught slinging drugs at one point. Pies and Percocets. But um, I've had the one that he rated the highest, north of Brooklyn, which is good. Super point I've had. But there were a bunch of places he hit that I was like, they looked amazing. I was like, I never heard of any of these. I missed out on so many good spots. And I'm not gonna lie, since I, uh, I've been feeling this way the last few months, but since I still technically have my job with the Blue Jays at the Rogers Center, I've been feeling heavily compelled, oh, sun's popping out, to uh, set up a bed back here with a living situation. And just drive down to Toronto and like randomly live around in my truck for two months for the summer. Work Jays games, I make YouTube videos. And try stand-up comedy. I would write material. I would reformat some of the stories that I've told on here to take to the stage. Or make them concise for stage, I should say. Give that a try, because that's something I didn't do while I was there, which I should have done. I should have done a lot more. <laughs> Public pursuit of interest while I was there, but I didn't. I got caught up in the life that I had. But yeah, a little uh, nomadic summer away. See how to live real tight and simple. It's singing to my soul. I kind of want the challenge, to be honest. 
Very kind of difficult to do though. Gym membership, so you can shower and shit. But leaving belongings, like if I go out and do shit, leaving like all your electronics and stuff in your vehicle, it's like it's bound to get stolen at some point. It feels like. Especially if somebody could tell you're kind of living in there. And I wouldn't want to be like taking my laptop and camera and shit everywhere that I go. So it would be tricky. It's likely not plausible. Plus you got to figure out like places to to sleep that you don't get either murdered or towed away all the time or complained about. But that's part of the challenge, right? That's like the, why it would be kind of fun. It's like a urban camping game. <laughs> all right, we'll finish this off with one last baby slice and this last little bit of dip that I have. And call that a very successful pizza mission because definitely hit the spot. That's the one thing good about the thin crust is like I feel like you get to eat so much more without that super heavy feeling. It's like you get to enjoy more slices. And it'll still be less full than if you had like three slices of a regular crust. That's the trade off of thin crust. But yeah, Gino's bangs, especially if you pick it up hot. Got myself three little cheeky slices for later on down the road. And I uh, hope you guys are all keeping well today. And uh, yeah, till the next one. Let's do it. You can live well. Stay true.